Welcome to the Risk Forever channel guys. To the channel which shares the most relevant tips and tricks on how to win at risk, and improve your rank in no time. Subscribe to the channel and you won't even see how fast you will become so much better at risk. Push that notification bell to see new videos first. This is your host champion ever. And in this series I will be sharing the best moves, strategies, tactics and players I find. So in this video I will show you a very smart strategy on how to beat the Australian turtle or any other player who is not really needed in the game. As you know that the balance of the game could be perfectly sustained with only 3 players, so for the game not to prolong, it's the best to get rid of the 4th player as soon as possible. In this situation I, blue and orange were holding the same value continents while the yellow player was the weakest one having Australia. So since he was the weakest at the same time being the player who could the least retaliate, I decided to target him. At first I blocked him in Australia, but then he fortified his biggest army out from it, so I crushed one of my armies into him and told the orange player to attack the yellow player as well, hoping that he understands the message to crush the troops he gets into the yellow player as well. The next turn instead of straightly crushing my troops into yellow, I was using manual rolls. But the main thought behind the strategy has stayed the same, to make the yellow player weaker and weaker until someone takes him out, so I, orange and blue would finally be able to fight each other properly instead of continuously turtling. The orange player then didn't attack yellow that turn but instead of that he fortified his biggest army to potentially take him out next turn. But thank god the blue player then stepped in and took the yellow player out by himself. He was the strongest player so technically he was the one who was supposed to take the yellow player out. As if it was the orange player instead, who takes the yellow player out, then the blue player would have gotten a big advantage over me and orange. Or who knows, the balance of the game could have even been potentially broken, hmm. But after the blue player taking out yellow, now we are all three more or less equally strong, and ready to fight it out. We have guaranteed not to get the last place for ourselves. Give this video a thumbs up if you find this strategy valuable. And let me know your experience with it in the comments section down below.